All right, you, are you guys ready for this? Yeah. yeah I don't know if you guys are ready for this because this is going to blow your mind. That dude in the hairpiece the whole time? That was Bruce Willis. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, I'm done. <laughs> Drop the mic. Leave it on the mic. That was gold. That was solid gold. Hey, it's gold, Jerry. It's gold, Jerry. We're gonna we're gonna do a Seinfeld episode too. That's on our list. Oh, Absolutely. We better. Absolutely. Uh, so w- take two. Welcome take to season two. <laughs> of, <laughs> season four, episode four of Culture Copia Podcast. You should leave all of that and you should you should just splice all splice that. Splice it together. Absolutely. No, I can do that. Absolutely do yeah. it. Do it. We're, we got a full house today. We do have a right. full house. Um, we're covering Friendsgiving. Yes. And in this in this episode, we're going to be talking about football and beer. The and not lost episode. The not lost. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> so the, the voice you just heard and the ugly mug that you saw on camera was, uh, <laughs> that's Jim from uh, One Beer at a Time. He also did every episode of our um, Play for Blood series on the... Uh, on the action films, including uh, the one that got ten thousand fucking views, dude, baby. We, it was, yeah, <laughs> I, it was a fluke, but yeah, was, we'll take oh, it. We'll it take was, it. It ups our numbers. It ups our numbers. It's not a fluke. It was um, um, but like Rob said, we're talking about beer uh, and football. So that's you know they kind of go together when it comes to when you think of Thanksgiving, and uh, mm-hmm. so we f- we figured what uh, better way to do that than to have some friends on. Um, who know about beer? Maybe not so much about football. Maybe one of you. Yeah. You, not so much. I mean, Joe, Joe. played high school football. And he's yeah. a good he football play player, school. but I don't think he he follows yeah. football like I do anymore. And, and who um, Jim was referencing and gesturing to an empty space. Uh, that is a, our other friend from One Beer at a Time, Joe. Who he is, is a ro- he, is <laughs> he is running late, but he'll be here. Yeah. Um, but we we're on a tight schedule, so we're we're starting up. Um, other than that, man, you know, Culture Copia, uh, we've been doing this for a little bit now, and uh, Casey was our newest guy. Uh, Greg's here with us; he's an, uh, one of our oldest guys. And Nate over there in the corner, Nate, we love you. Thanks for coming back. Uh, Good to be we, here, buddy. We missed uh, you last time. They're older than me. Hey, no, no, no. Oh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I let's since we uh, since Casey's bitching about it, let's start yeah, off with I'm thirsty. Uh, we so we had Jim bring some beers along. Uh, uh, if you're not familiar with one beer at a time, they do beer reviews, and so we're gonna kind of we're gonna kick it off with a with a little beer review. What do we have here? Jim? So I'm I'm gonna kind of I brought a couple of beers. We'll crack them open throughout the episode. We'll we'll pepper in a couple of the beer reviews. The, kind of tie in the obot thing what i grabbed here is garage beer it is not a local st louis beer but it is a midwest and part of our thing on obot is we try to highlight anything local but if it's not local we're trying to at least stick to the midwest adjoining states stuff like that garage beer i figured it would be a nice palatable way to bring something different to the show it is a small batch light lager so one of the things that's become more and more popular in craft beer is making beer that non-craft beer drinkers will enjoy. So I brought you a light craft lager, something to start on. It's only 4%. Honestly, it is. I mean, take a, take a taste. Let me know yeah. what you think. But Greg already went for it. So yeah. Personally, it is a, it's a crushable. It's a fucking garage beer. It's exactly yeah. what it claims to be. Okay. I like it. And uh, Greg, how's it looking? You've got the cup there. You can actually see it floating. Okay, nice, like a light golden. Beer. Yeah, yeah, I mean, golden, nice, yeah. nice golden hue. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's it, it, it is very simply a better light beer, and this yeah. has become you know if you follow one beer at a time, you'll hear Joe and I talk about it a lot. It's become a really popular thing now to do. For years, the craft beer thing was how hoppy can we make a beer? Yeah. Like, how skunky can we make it? We yes. want to make the fucking craziest, hoppiest, fucking pucker up beers we can make. Yeah, and now. People are like, you know what? Let's make some crushable, like, hangout, good drinking. That's this exactly is, what this is. This is yeah. perfect. You just yeah. cut the grass, so crack open a garage yeah. beer. Yeah. No, I, this is good. this is actually going to be. I actually like it. Man. I'm going to add this <laughs> to my lot. to my garage uh, fridge inventory for sure. Yeah. Sorry, I'm getting a little comfortable over here with Greg. I, so I hate it. Yeah. Right. So while we're while we're on that <laughs> subject, I want to bring one up. Don't be jealous. 
that I couldn't find. They don't carry it at Deerberg's. I know they carry it at Schnooks, but another one, if you boys like a crushable beer like this, find Montucky Cold Snacks. Okay. I like it's it's on Obot. We featured it on Obot. It is one of my favorite just like session drinking beers. The name of the company is Montucky Cold Snacks. That is the only beer they make. It's not they don't have a bunch of other shit. They make one beer and it is a crushable <laughs> summer lager beer that is just fantastic. Perfect. Let's let's go through let's go through your rating system on Obot. Um, so I want these guys to actually do like a okay, full yeah, review yeah. and rating of it. So. so we do a very simple rating system. We do it for idiots and savants alike. So someone asked us recently, is it like a, a, a three star? A three star? And you <laughs> said no, and I said yeah, it is. It kind of is. <laughs> you're, you're not wrong. It kind of is. So our our grading CL is pretty simple. We have eh, okay, and fuck yeah. I will say that within OK, you can have a little bit of a, a scale inside of OK itself where it's like strong OK to where you're like, ah, that's good. I just yeah. don't know if it's a fuck yeah. And the best way to put it is fuck yeah, I'm seeking that beer out. I'm going yeah, yeah. and finding that beer. It's going in my fridge. I got to have it again. Yeah. OK or strong OK is if I see it at a bar or I happen to stumble upon it somewhere, I'll grab it. Eh is not for me. And right. then there is one other rating that we've only given to one beer ever. And that's the goddamn bog myrtle from Old Bakery that was the <laughs> grossest fucking thing I've ever drank. <laughs> I don't think Jim can go an episode talking about beer without bringing up the bog myrtle. By I can't. I, I don't think so either. I, I've heard about it plenty of times. It's the worst point. fucking thing I've ever drank. I feel sorry for Joe having to hear. What was about it like? It, black sure. licorice beer or something? It's no. It's well, oh, kind of. It's made from some sort of fucking weed called bog myrtle. Like bog it's. Myrtle. It is an herb called bog myrtle, and it's just it's. It tastes like swamp water. Yeah. It was That's fucking ridiculous. horrible. And I only bring it up every episode when we talk about the scale. Because I will say there has been one beer that fell outside our whole scale. <laughs> it's like yeah. it's like uh, 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 Poe and Kung Fu Panda. You know, he's like talking about like level zero. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. yeah. I'm like, there where's is, he going with like Kung Fu now, Panda? Yeah, it's our level zero. <laughs> level like, zero. Yes. Uh, yeah. Well, I guess I'll kick this off then with... Uh, I'm going to give this one a big fuck yeah. Um, I've actually never had this before, even though you've had me try a lot of different beers at this yeah. point. Um, but I, I agree with you. This is just it's a it's just a great light beer. It's something like you said. You just got done cutting the grass. Or you're hanging out in the garage, whatever the fuck it is. You know, for me, sitting around watching some hockey, like I'm going to crush a couple of these. Right. Uh, even though we're talking about football today, I, yeah. I'm still a, still a hockey guy at heart. But, oh, yeah. you know, let's say I'm watching a football game. Sure, I'll watch some football, and I'm going to crush these too. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm definitely going to seek this out. I'm going to go. I'm going to find out exactly where you got these from. And then uh, probably going to take the rest of this uh, case that you brought, and then your gro- yeah. your local grocer. No, oh, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm just going to take what you got. It's easier. That's You're right. all the ice, you know. <laughs> what about you? I give it a fuck yeah. I'm not a big beer guy, yeah. so, but that's good. Let I, me, can, I, I can look, crush let me, those. I can tell you. And and everybody like our like our audience if they don't know by now Greg's very easy to please, <laughs> so <laughs> I mean, you'd be hard pressed to find something Greg's not gonna, just gonna be like fuck yeah well, I'm down like <laughs> I mean beer again beer's not my thing and yeah so well, okay said, so coming said, from he like said something a, about black liquor so he definitely doesn't like Jaeger. No, hell oh, I don't like Jaeger either. Oh, Jaeger's Jaeger. disgusting. Just, he literally was just saying, oh, does it taste like black liquor? So I was like, oh, Jaeger. Uh, I don't, I don't that's like that. That's, that's probably a, the most appalling flavor. I don't think I've opinion. tried Jaeger since oh. I blacked out on it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so so a little so a side point, not to not to derail, but who here actually does like Jaeger? I, mean, I, I did. did. But it's not something I go to the bar. Will you really? Right? Like, if there is a Jaeger slide with the ice set up in that shit and they've got cold Jaeger shots, I'll get in on it. Leave it to me. Leave it to Nate. You know what? I, I'm actually going to piggyback on that and say I, it's been so long since I've tried Jaeger that if I were out at a bar and they were doing a Jaeger luge, I might give it a, a whirl again. Is there any... You know, to be like honest, Jaeger, you, so you kind of look like that guy. I, I'm been, not trying I'm to be mean, but I, I, mean, I would take that, that guy. guy. <laughs> Jaeger is like one of those... Old, like, my wife had never had Jaegermeister before until yeah. about two weeks ago. We went over to the grocery store oh, and had mini bottles of that okay. shit. So I was like, you got to try Jaegermeister. So we bought the mini Jaeger, and I was like, well, you know, crack it open, had a sip of it. I was like, oh, you know, it's Jaeger, but I handed it to her. I'm like, what do you think? <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. She's like, ugh. 
Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I, that's Jager Meister for you. I do feel we used like to drink it needs this to be shit cold. back in the day. I don't fucking know why, but we did. It's kind of funny though. Uh, like it's like supposed to be medicinal, right? Like yeah. uh, to a yeah. to a degree, no. snake oil. No, snake you're trying to, to you're trying to like bring a new flavor. liquor or alcohol to somebody, and they're watching you. Yeah, yeah, you that's, that's a good oh, first yeah, impression of it. You should try this. Yeah, one. yeah, try this. Did you, did you have her try it warm or cold? Straight up warm. Oh, oh yeah. you gotta chill. Yeah. It's gotta go it's in the freezer. Yeah. 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 yeah, fuck that up. I well, mean, it, it's one of those drinks that I actually did like it. Granted, in fucking high school. Yeah. Until prom night, I drank an entire bottle of it myself and <laughs> fell into a hot tub with all my clothes on. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna. I'll say this one thing, and then and then we'll move on. I you mentioned if you're somewhere and they're doing an event and they're doing like a Jaeger luge, you'll okay. I'll partake. I want to know if there is there anything that like if they were doing a luge, uh, would you not partake in? Like oh, you, yeah. you, I know Goldschlager you, and so SoCal. I, um, ooh, uh, no, not Goschlager. Yeah, I no? with that. No, here's no. the thing. But you'll do. You'll I do Goschlager over uh, okay. Jaeger. Yeah. I'm gonna be. I will not do Goldschlager. I'm gonna be the honest. First time I ever got drunk was off Goldschlager. Oh no shit! Ever. Yeah. I, I used sense. I used to buy bottles of like that. My grandparents would hide their liquor, and they would hide the shit that they didn't want. It. Like my grandpa would be like, "Oh, I ain't gonna fucking drink that." Casey will find it and drink it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so he left a fucking full bottle of Jaeger. Our, uh, our buddy Greg? Joe, me and him, just drank that whole fucking yeah. bottle. Yeah, please. And oh, when I tell you when we got sick, it looked like. a... a Oh, like yeah. he fucking oh, this dude's oh, puking glitter and shit <laughs> yeah. over here, dude. Yeah, that was the best. That was another thing I drank a lot of in college because it was uh, it was cheap yeah. and it was a hundred proof. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. like, I did a lot of my uh, some of my college alcohol shopping was based on alcohol content. I used to buy a lot of Bacardi one fifty one. Yeah. Because Ooh. for my buck, you weren't getting better no. than one fifty one. <laughs> You yeah, couldn't yeah. find McCormick's 190 hardly no. anywhere, so 151 was the best I could were, do. Were you making Caribou Lou's? Yes, we were. We we were we've done a lot of that. Okay, we yeah, we've done some Caribou Lou's. Yeah, we made a lot of well, Caribou Lou's. Casey, what's what's your ranking on this uh, garage? So garage I'll give it a beer. fuck yeah, because it's really good. I mean, of course, I drink a lot of beer. <laughs> a lot of light stuff too. Like he does. I, I drink a lot of Bud Light, Bud Select. Uh, oh, this is Miller. Uh, yeah, Ultra. Like, I drink all that, and this is really good. Yeah, towers above those. And oh, that's yeah. and, and it's got more alcohol yeah. volume. And that's and it's only ninety five calories. That's what's Ooh, beautiful whoa. about. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> that's what's My beautiful figure. about breweries doing this now is that like if you're if you're that guy that is used to drinking Bud Light, like. You don't have to go spend the money to get a nicer beer, but you can, and you're going to like it. Yeah. Huh. You know? I mean, it, for me, this is a beer. I would put this in a DOS boot, and uh, I would I would yeah. chug DOS boot. Yeah? Uh, DOS also, boot! I also, also I, I noticed on the side here, it says, open this end, crush, <laughs> to recycle on this end. Nice. <laughs> nice. Very nice. At the very top. The I will say, I do like the can. Uh, the design. Oh, I like that. <laughs> Very what, old school cores. What is your? Yeah. Have, okay, let me ask you. Have you reviewed this on One Beer at a Time? We before? have not. You have not. We well, have then not. let's get your official. Yeah. So yeah, my, I'm going to say my official is a very strong. Okay. And okay. Like, I will drink this. I personally, I like the Montucky Cold Snacks a little bit better. Okay. Well, you should have brought that. I no, I tr- no, I couldn't find them. They didn't have them today. Otherwise, I would have. I w- I searched up and down the aisle, saw garage beer. I was like, oh, that's in the vein of Montana. So this Cold this Snack. was a silver medal. This was a silver medal. And again, this was a runner up. This, this is a absolutely. Medal at I will Olympics. I will buy this again. <laughs> you know, same type of thing. If I'm looking for something else and they have this, but not that, I'll buy it. I like it. Um, there, are, when you have drank as many beers as I have drank. And I don't mean that in an alcoholic sense, which how, how many? Amazing. Let's oh now we're we're getting to the real questions now. How many beers have you drank? On a scale of one to ten, do you have a problem? <laughs> Can you ballpark how many? Wait, wait, no, this is a good question. This is a great question. Can you ballpark how many beers you've had in your life? I don't think I could. Oh, Robert, can you just overlay "Hello Darkness, My Old Friend"? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, no, I could. There's no way in hell I could ballpark. Yeah, because I I, here's what I can tell you. This is a true story. Would you ten? When I uh, when I was in high school, 
I had like I had blood work done, said I had high triglycerides. Being as young as I was, the doctor goes, well, it's probably genetics, but because you're adopted, we don't know. So my mom's sitting in the room with me, and and doctor asks, how much do you drink? And my mom just jumps in front of me, and she goes, he doesn't drink. And then the doctor's like, all right, well, Mr. Master, I need you to leave the room. I'm going to actually examine <laughs> your son now. you know. And I was like 16, 17, so like, doctor's like, get the fuck out of here. Your son doesn't want to be naked in front of right, you anymore. Right, right, right. So as soon as my mom leaves, doctor goes, so how much do you drink a week? I go, a week? Doc, I'm in high school. Like I'm not I'm not coming home from school on a Tuesday and cracking a cold one. He goes, Okay, fine. How much are you drinking on the weekend? I go, about thirty. <laughs> he goes, are you fucking serious? I go, Yeah, like fifteen Friday, fifteen Saturday. That's nothing. So I mean extrapolate yeah. that. If that's bad, um extrapolate that from right? shit. that that was at sixteen. So extrapolate that into college where fifteen on Friday became 30 on Friday, 30 okay. on Saturday. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Couple of hair of the dog on Sunday. So, if you we, were going back there, like, what was the first kind of beers you started drinking when you got into drinking beers? Like, where was the, the entry point? Whatever your parents had, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Like, what did they have? For, you? Uh, for me, it was bu- uh, Bud Select. I was going to say, it had to be a Bud Light, Bud Select. Yeah, it was yeah. My yeah. grandpa is a massive Budweiser fan, so I first went off straight drinking Budweiser. Jim Holding? Uh, okay. 35. Okay, so I put it for 20 years. Uh, you've drank approximately 13,520 beers if you go by that map. That, that, seems, that, 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 seems, that seems very low. Fuck that seems very low. I'm going to be honest. Really? Wow. Yeah. Fuck All right. Okay. Um, <laughs> 30 beers a week times 52 times oh, 20. Yeah, there's no way he's still only drinking 30 beers yeah, a week. A let's let uh In let, his 20s, there's no way you were doing 30. No, God, no. Let's, let's, let's call it a nice 20 to 25. Thousand, yeah, that's a fair estimate. Okay, anyway, <laughs> so we are so we're doing beer and football. Let's talk a little bit about football. Do you get, let's. I, I, I guess I'll say okay. Do you do you guys watch? No, the Muffin yes. Man. Yes. Do you know the Muffin Man yet? <laughs> do you guys do you man? guys regularly watch football, or did you grow up regularly watching football? When I was a kid, I did. Really. Yeah, I grew I up watching football. Um, okay, every Sunday I watch a shitload of football. Yeah. I grew up watching football to the point my father was always superstitious about sports, but football was the most. I remember um, the year the Rams won the Super Bowl. Uh huh. Yeah, I remember that. I too. left the room one time to grab something to drink during a commercial, and I didn't make it back in time. And as I'm walking back in, I like sat on the arm of the couch, and Kurt Warner threw like a 40 yard touchdown pass. And my dad looks at me, and goes, "You're not fucking moving the rest of the game." Yeah. <laughs> and I kid you not, yeah. he did not like I. He allowed me to go to the kitchen during, like, if I needed to do something during commercials. But when I came back, I had to sit on the arm of the fucking couch the rest of the game. <laughs> are you superstitious like that, Casey? You watch a lot of football, don't you? Yeah, I love tons of football. Are you Are you superstitious in any way about like? So I wear certain jerseys for certain teams they play. So okay. Like, yes, that might be superstitious. So there's a little bit there, yeah. So, you're you're a big your your team's Eagles, right? Big yeah, huge Eagles, huge, huge Eagles fan. Eagle, huge Eagle cock. Go, uh, go birds! I, go birds. I actually went to bed the other night watching uh, Invincible, the one where uh, Marky Mark. Yeah. You know, Invincible yeah, Marky Bush. Mark plays Tony Danza yeah. when he. Uh, <laughs> what? Go look go go look at a picture of Vince Papali and tell me that doesn't look like fucking Tony. Danza. <laughs> right. uh, it could have gotten Tony young, Danza to play. Young <laughs> Papali, yeah. yeah, young Vince Papali yeah. looks yeah. exactly like, especially the picture. I'm thinking like Mark Wahlberg. I'm like, what, dude? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> go look at the picture they show at the end of Invincible where Vince Papali's like. Okay, how about how about this? How about the fact of that movie? At, at no point when you see Vince Papali at the end of the movie when they're going through the credits. At no point was he fucking ripped like Mark Wahlberg was in that fucking movie. You just see Mark Wahlberg cut as fuck, and well, he's short, and he's just fucking right. doing his thing. Was, you know, I mean, uh, to be fair, go back and look at just about any athlete from that era. He was a soccer player. Like, most guys in that era of football, wrestling, anything, none of them were, like, yoked and fucking yeah. ripped yeah. the the way that, that Mark... Yeah, up, no, because no, you no. still... Most of those guys still drank, like, right. the fucking fish. Yeah. Yeah. They were all the out, you know. He was super skinny and tall. Mark Wahlberg is short and was fucking buff. Okay, so. <laughs> but it, it, to be fair, if you're going to pick... Fair, if you're To be fair... To be fair... If you're going to pick somebody to play someone, like, or to play you in a movie... 
You want them to look good, right? No. Hold on. If you want some, no, no, no. If you want to be generous, I don't want my wife to get jealous. Don't knock on the door. (laughs) Come on in. (laughs) If you want to, if you want the casting to be generous, if you want the casting to be generous, who do you want to play you in a movie? So, uh, me, I want Kevin James. I want George Clooney. (laughs) Because at least is this a movie about the end of your life? Yeah, (laughs) there's there's something you don't know about Casey. He's like obsessed with George Clooney, Uh, and here's something that nobody else knows uh, is that Joe is here. (laughs) Hey, 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 bye. (laughs) What's up, friends? What's going on, buddy? Hey, uh, yeah, get mic'd up. Mike, Mike, oot, Mike, 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 oot. Is this for me? Yeah, that's for you. Let's see what you got. Ah, one beer at a time. One beer at a time. Oh. Ask me about local beer. I love it. Thanks, man. Yeah, man. Christmas came early. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Awesome. You boys drinking on? We're drinking. Garage. We're drinking. So uh, I, I grabbed some garage beer. Okay. Um, it's out of Ohio, so local ish. Hey, my yeah. heart is in Ohio. Yeah. I'm, I'm mm-hmm. heading to Ohio on Wednesday. I know. Are you oh. happy about the game? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I am. Yeah. I mean, they had better beat Oakland, but <laughs> Jesus Christ. I mean. <laughs> My fantasy's not doing well, so I'm like, you know. I actually got to watch a little college football. Yeah, yeah I know. So. <laughs> you know what I mean? Caught like, a little bit of the yeah, Ohio fuck State. Yeah, you piece of shit. <laughs> All right. Miami and Duke had a fucking banger. Yeah. I caught that too, man. Well, so Joe, we, Joe, you're just in time for us. We, we actually just started talking about football. Uh, okay. Do you, I know you Sexy. said you haven't, you don't watch a whole lot. I haven't been keeping up with the season as much these days. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, like, I'm a fight coach. I get into fight sports, and it's yeah. like, I got my couple teams I follow, but I don't like. Yeah. I don't really keep up with it like I used to, you know. Okay, for sure. We, um, you know, the, these two guys were actually just talking about Invincible, uh, which actually oh, kind of nice. gets me nice. into my next thing. Is like I haven't thought uh, about that movie in a while. Yeah, I'm if sure you I guys, own that fucker. if you guys had to pick, uh, like what what's your favorite like football movie or, Rudy. or show? Rudy. Maybe Rudy. Rudy. You guys both say Rudy. 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 And then remember the Titans. Little Giants. Yo, that's a good pick, necessary dude. Necessary roughness. Necessary yeah. roughness. Yo, that's a good necessary one too. Roughness. I forgot about that movie. I, Nate, Nate, you got a pick? I mean, I picked Rudy last time. I guess I'll go with Rudy again. Oh, Rudy, it's time, bro. There it you just, go. It transcends great, everything. That's a good movie, though. I am yeah, going. I'm going. Rudy. I'm going. Remember the Titans. Remember the Titans. I say. Remember the Titans. Or. I love and and Joe, you'll love this as a Texas boy. I love the movie Friday Night Lights. Oh, there you go. Friday Night Lights has the yeah. best, most realistic I'm football yeah. action. You want you I'm want going win with uh, the replacements. Keanu, yeah, that's yeah. classic, yeah. dude. It was so uh, funny. And I what and what shit. school did Keanu yeah. Reeves play for in that movie? Oh shit! Shane Footsteps Falco, yeah. <laughs> Ohio State. <laughs> Goddamn right, Ohio State. Hey. Footsteps Falco. Good old footsteps. Because, because in two separate movies, Keanu Reeves has been a quarterback for Ohio State. Oh, Ohio nice. State. Okay. The other one was uh, Point Break? Yes. Yeah, yes, point it break. was. Yeah. I, I really... I thought it was Utah. Johnny Utah. Yeah, Johnny Utah. Utah. Johnny Utah. Point, Ohio point yeah. Break. Point Break. Point Johnny break. Utah played for Ohio State, and then replacements. replacements Shane Footsteps pick. Falco yeah. played for Ohio State, and he lost the game in the Orange Bowl. Like, like Everybody keeps bringing it up to him. Jim, I want to piss you off so bad right now and just yell, go blue. <laughs> go fuck yourself. Hey, you know, I'll chuck this at you. <laughs> underrated that only, like, real football fans have ever been into, the program. Okay, the program. I the love program. The, you have to be the, a real bear crawl fan, scene, the bear you know? crawl scene in that in that movie. Yeah, it's yeah. fucking. You want to get hyped? Watch that fucking bear crawl scene <laughs> where he Latimer, like, bro. Yeah, where he makes, the, he makes the dude, does he blindfold him or make him close his eyes? And the dude climbs on his back. I think he's blindfolded. Yeah, and he's yeah. like, keep going, keep going. He thinks he's only gone like 20 yards, and he's done like 70 yards. <laughs> yeah. 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 And he's like, see, you're stronger than you think you are. So, But uh, if you want to win, put Booby in. Right. <laughs> <laughs> let me get but, that extra point, coach. Let me spin it. Booby about to spin it. So uh, uh, a funny story about like just talking about all these movies just kind of made me think of it uh when i was in high school i had a personal finance teacher we had like a personal finance class intro to business type yeah. thing yeah. and so i was like yeah okay i'll take that um the teacher of that class because sometimes they would do this was one of the coaches yeah. yeah and he was a football coach and like it was so easy to get him to like let us watch movies because we oh, would just yeah. be like hey everybody tell him we've never seen <laughs> Of this movie, and then he'll be like, "You gotta." So we'd be like, "You ever fucking see Brian like, Song?" We'd be like, "Hey, uh, hey, Coach Dixon, uh, 
Johnny's never seen Rudy. He'd be like, what? We'll be like, oh, yeah. yeah, Brian's never seen it either. He'd be like, oh, we're watching Rudy tomorrow. We're like, yes. Yeah, yeah. we're doing so, work in this class at all, bro. The most inspiring of movie titles. So themes. Joe brought up Brian's song, which brings me which okay. brings me to a theory I have, if you want to call it my toxic masculinity theory. There's only two types of movie men are allowed to cry at. I don't it's, like that you're looking me directly in the eye when you're saying it. Like, look at the know, camera. You cry over like, bullshit all the time. I, I, I do. I do. I, I cry when I watch Phantom of the Opera, okay? It is, like, <laughs> it is, it is sports movies. And war movies, okay, <laughs> because war can be both sad and beautiful. So, do you cry when you watch In the Army now? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. I cry over. I, I mourn um, Pauly Shore's career. Yeah. <laughs> but I will tell hey, you, man, you can't mourn Matt. Matt cries Wait. when he masturbates. I'll, I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> you would not. Pauly Shore movies. Shore movies. <laughs> yeah. 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 I will even. I, I will even admit. I'll get a. I'll get a tad misty eyed at the end of Cool Runnings when they crash. And he's like, oh, dude, come and he's on. like, okay, and, he's like, and they're carrying the bobsled. Especially because like, it really I have happened. to finish mine. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> Should I get into my patois over here? I <laughs> strip blood fire. Yeah, it's glorious. It dude. is. Have you Matt, guys? Matt, you, you want to grab me a beer before you get into your What do you want? Uh, just grab me any beer. Okay. You got a turn. I, dude, Ooh, you got the hoop it's, so, it's so inconvenient. <laughs> dude, you got the hoop <laughs> tea rocking. I love it. Dude, you want one? I'll take a hoop tea. Fuck I actually, it. I actually got a. Uh, I brought a couple randos. I, I didn't know if we were drinking mead, so I brought a few cups. I have my. Uh, I think I have a so blonde. I have an IPA, beer. and I think uh, I might have a stout. I got a few I, different well, things. Here, what what, what, oh, what, what movie makes you guys cry the most? Buddy. Oh, buddy. Yeah. yeah. We're gonna have to have everybody try a little sip of that. Like, what movie? No matter how many times you see it, will will like at least make you tear mm. up a little bit. Homeward Bound. <laughs> hey, you know what? Greg's a big animal guy, so I. That, no, that you know what? My wife tried to put that movie on not long ago, and we got like five minutes in, and she's like, "No, I can't do it." <laughs> <laughs> oh, mothers. Okay, cool. Yeah, I was, just, I was about to madres. talk some shit. I'm like, you don't have nothing local. <laughs> no, I, I, I also brought some uh, UCBC. Their uh, the dwarf beer. Sure. I'm uh, killing off a Schlafly Pale. Uh, one of my most favorite pale ales. Oh, yeah. Watermelon. It's one of the beers that got me into craft beers, honestly, for real. What? Right here in St. Louis. No. So I'm grabbing a, oh. I'm grabbing a Madre's Mexican lager. Yeah, I'm real curious about that. Mango? Well, I, got, I got six of them in there. Nice. I haven't tried that at all. Hoop Tea, if, if you didn't catch one beer at the Times little review on Hoop Tea, go back and watch that. that. Is, yeah, but Hoop for some commercial shit, hey, we, we, we fucking highly yeah, advocate Hoop Tea. Was it a fuck yeah? Or? yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. I, don't, okay. I tell everybody, I don't, I don't drink right, shit like so, that. So here. if I'm bragging, hey, man. Pet, take, <laughs> pass that. Let's go to Rob, our producer, and it's go, I know it's going all the way around. No, all the way around. Well, all it's, all it's easier way. for me to... You need a camera that follows it all the way. You know what you should have did? You should have. Opened it. We all take a sip until it got to the <laughs> <laughs> like little rascals when they they have the bucket of water. Oh, and oh, yeah. By the time it gets to the end. Okay, Nate, do you Home, want one of these? Homeward Battle. You don't really drink beer. Back to beer, the, movie, so. the uh, topic, so. though. Homeward Battle is a really good pick, dude. You can tell that's Imagine authentic. Like right now, he's like Homeward Battle. Oh, what right. was the question? What movie makes you cry? Yeah, what, what do you might, cry what, the most to? Yeah, what movie? No matter how many times you've seen it, will make you tear up at least. Oh, okay, no. I've only three. Oh, oh, sports, okay. Sports, sports movie. Well, I mean, I'm trying to think. I mean, I cry it's almost every good. single time Mick dies. Right. Yeah. yeah. Like, every Spoilies, time Mick dies, it's I'm, so oh, bad. Sorry, spoilers. spoilers. <laughs> Mick dies. Yeah. Don't have to watch it. <laughs> he gets pushed over because he's fucking old. Yeah, fucking and he dies. Bum. And then the whole thing, him, Apollo, and, yeah, it's too much. Yeah, you know, there's no then, easy way out. Yeah. You know? And then he's afraid to, and then he, he tells his wife that he's afraid for the first time in his career. <laughs> I okay. I haven't. I've only seen it once, but I, we talked about this recently. The Whale with Brendan oh, Fraser was that. Is so good as they all say. Sad fucking movie. Oh, is it really that fucking good though? It, it, yeah. it was good, it's and like it, but film. it was but it was probably the saddest movie I've ever. So I'll give to. Greg a pass for the uh -huh. animals, where I'm a big animal guy too. But that's why I said are we that's shocked a good that one. Matt had a bitch take. 
<laughs> oh, that's whale? a good one because honestly, like, is it because you're fat? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm nowhere near on the level of that guy. I know. Uh, no, it honest, close to home. I, okay. I, no, I, honestly, I was being, uh, I was being very serious when I said I do tear up a little bit at the end of uh, Phantom of the Opera every time. I watch it. <laughs> it's so you cried during like, the Elephant Man too. Just uh, <laughs> old ass. Yeah. Anybody that's like, yeah, Elephant Man, that was. A are you talking about the Gerard <laughs> Butler? No, it's, it's, yeah. it's just the music. With, like the actual musical. It's just the music. Yeah. It's the music. It's very passionate. Yes. Yeah. What about you? For me, uh, I, I'm going to have to go with probably Saving Private Ryan. Okay. Oh, and it man. is <laughs> it is the end of the... I mean, the beginning of the movie when he walks up to the grave is, is good enough. But the end of that movie when it cuts back to him being old. Yeah. And he drops to his knee and he touches the, t- the tombstone. Yeah. You're just like... Oh, yeah, dude. The movie's just all around heavy. Oh! Yeah, it's one of the heaviest war movie. movies. Honestly, yeah. I mean... They killed the family in that movie yeah. pretty early. Yeah. I think the, you know what? The one scene that always just kind of fucked with me in that movie? <laughs> there should have been any Fast and Furious movies because of that fucking... <laughs> family. The family fucking Cap- died before. Hey, fuck family. Caparzo, Caparzo was an important part of that team. Damn right. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, um, the one scene when the medic dies. Yeah. And yeah. it was just oh, like the yeah. night or two yeah. before when he's having that yeah. memory about like basically saying I wish I had like given my mom a little yeah. bit more time and then it's like the very next fucking battle he yeah. dies calling for mom you're like right, that Radizzi. was kind of fucked up oh god okay hold on I might have to change my answer like that. Yeah, because shit. because you talked about mom just like parents in general and I think Rob will agree with me on this one big big say. fish hits me oh, yeah. big, big fish, dude, big fish hits me now hits that my everybody. dad is gone that one hits oh, me I, you're gonna hit I, I still haven't Honestly, finished that, that movie kind of Happy, he went it, out the way he wanted. Yeah, it's yeah, true. There's, there's well, legendary. It's, 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 it's like it's know? happy yeah, tears. Kinda, it's happy yeah, tears. Yeah. yeah. What about Nate? What I makes mean, you cry? A couple things come to mind. We'll make, I, let's let's get let's crack that skull up. Is like glorious type <laughs> shit gets me fired yeah. up. Like oh. Braveheart, for example. Yes, yeah, dude. That's strung so, up, dude. That's when, when he screams freedom while they're killing him, dude. Come on, yes. You're just like that. That is in there with me, and also that part, and then also the end when Robert the Bruce is like, "You fought for William." Now, now fight, fight for me. me. Yes. Like, yeah, yes. no, absolutely. The gl- but, right yes, now. dude. That's it's a so war movie. good. That's, it's so that's a, fucking and good. And that's why the war movie thing hits, because it's the glorious part. I don't want to make you know, everybody like, laugh, oh, but you know the part when he's screaming <laughs> freedom, and that Irish guy's like, oh, it's so much oh yeah, because you know what's really happening? <laughs> it's, it's my land. <laughs> and then he's done. He's like, oh, shit. I don't mean <laughs> I do, though. Is it, all right, this is a shock when you guys are going to tell me I can't the name of this movie. But this was a sad one. So there's this movie where there's this ape, it. and this ape has to dislodge. Georgia Jungle. He has to dislodge this oh. thing that's like cocking a nuclear. It's like gonna explode, no, no. and they're bribing this ape with cigarettes, and so they can't get in there. <laughs> and he's the got the pack fuck? of cigarettes, and they put it up in the glass. Ace and he's like, yeah. Yeah. Rob's here. nodding. Rob knows what you it know is. You know what I'm talking about? What movie is what this? What the know? fuck? It's it's with an ape? Camp, is it? They were in space. Space dentist. And so space chimp. Space chimp. They tricked this ape with the cigarettes, <laughs> and they're like, "Go get, go get the container. Go get the container. It's irradiated in there. This monkey's gonna die if he does this." And he's like, "Cigarettes? They're like cigarettes." <laughs> and he goes and gets it and pulls the was thing it, out. This was made in the fifties. He saves 50s? him, but they can't give him the cigarettes, and they're holding on the glass like, "Sorry, buddy, can't get you your cigarettes." I was like, "Damn, that is fucked up." What it's like, the fuck? Poor it was animals. by Marlboro yeah. Productions. <laughs> That's who. <laughs> so, you had to turn in so points to be able to get a copy of the movie. <laughs> so good. Yeah. Yeah. For him. Send Great. in 18,000 Marlboro miles. I mean, honestly, I, honestly that, that did guy. it. He saved the zinger for the show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so proud of you right yeah. now. I'm so said, proud. I mean, his description did make me a little sad, but like. Yeah. Uh, so, you, so, you've added another, uh, another thing to your list. No, because that's animals. Animals, 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 it's animals are in the animals, animals are in the, the subject. No, no, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm yeah, saying. I'll give you animals, animals in a sub, like, unless you, animals unless you don't actually more. love your pets or yeah. love animals. Animal yeah. movies will fuck you up, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Come on, even Fox and the Hound. You're I like, wow, bro. bro. Oh, that's Fox the homie. Why? That's it. Like, that's it. Oh man, Project what was it? With Project Matthew Broderick. Okay, that's it. All now right. and I'm actually I'm gonna actually bro. Wasn't it. there another movie called mine. Project X? Yeah, it was like, like a, a party movie. Yeah, yeah, there was a ass back then. So I'm gonna amend mine real quick because oh, it's still it's still kind of a war <laughs> okay. movie. But we're talking about the glorious shit, and it's actually it's Gladiator. 
Ooh. And there's there's more than one there reason to this. So that song at it's the Ooh. end of the movie, Ooh. especially when they say when she's like he was a soldier of Rome, yeah. honor him. But they start playing that song that called "Now We Are Free." Oh, yeah. That one. Yeah, it's called now. The song is called "Now We Are Free," but there's another song called "Elysian" that's yeah. in the score. But the song that she's singing is, that is called Hans "Now We Are Zimmer." Hans Zimmer, and then the girl, the, the girl greatest. that's singing, his she made up her own angelic language for her music. Like I forget Lindsay what she's singing. Yeah, my when my coach died when I was a senior in high school, at both at like two of the memorials for him, they played that song "Now We Are Free." Right. So like, it's a double whammy for me. Yeah. So. Maximus dying, the whole thing, him going to see his family, and then Spoilies. also I hear that song <laughs> <laughs> right when the sequel's Did about to come out. That Jesus Christ. No, 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 no. Shame hey, on you, no, you know what? Plays yeah. it every other fucking. Game. <laughs> you, know, no, you know what? You know what? Matt's right. The sequel's about to come out. There might be some people out there. <laughs> All right, they were waiting for Jeez, the sequel yeah, to come along like, before they walked the original. Axis, All right, All right. low key right. fuck those people though. <laughs> oh, low key fuck those people. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Later, yeah. when he comes out in the arena and he slays that guy, he's like looking at everyone. Are you not entertained? Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah. And then silence. He, th- and it's all, he, he throws the fucking sword. Spaniard. Spaniard. Yeah. Like, That's a line I, I use any chance I get. Oh, like at work or something. Any, any, that and Brad Pitt's line from Troy, is there no one else? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We'll be rocking oh, yeah. at the bar, clear the line, and I'm like, That's it. Is there no one else? Yeah. <laughs> all right. We, we've established everyone What's else cries name? like <laughs> men, and I'm a bitch. So, uh, <laughs> no, let's. It's, we're. I have to get us back on track a little hey, dude, bit. I don't know. Clerks uh, will make you actually, cry it a sounds, little bit. It sounds like maybe yeah. you're that a little fat movie? You cry at fat people. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's it. Yeah, the why whales, cries. The, whales the, the last is, Clerks movie is close. Cries, that's why he cries that in the shower. On some random hard. shit. is close, hard. right? You hard. had that moment where you're like, why do I feel so fucking tender and sad right now? Clerks 3 is not a comedy. It's a drama. Yeah, dude. Know that before watching it, for sure. <laughs> Especially um, after Kevin Smith actually almost died. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Spoilies. You guys, you guys have everybody know <laughs> yeah. Real yeah. life spoilies. <laughs> you know? I was waiting to check out his Instagram. <laughs> 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 All right. Do you, you guys ever, was it ever a tradition to watch football on Thanksgiving? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, the, yeah, it was always on. You guys. Let's go one at a time. So we're like, not fucking. Rebel, 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 rebel. Did you watch football on Sunday? Sunday. Sunday. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. Hey, well, Casey, Casey is not allowed to, to do the interview question. Yes. Yes. Well, I mean, the fact, okay, I mean, Greg doesn't really watch football at all, so it's like not anymore. Pause. Like, when I was a He's kid, gonna I watch didn't. it on Sunday first. <laughs> all right. So we're we're just um, gonna pretend that, that what? No. Go, go ahead. ahead. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. Man, Casey, so, do you watch football oh. on Thanksgiving? Yes. Every year. Still. Yes. All right. It's the only way to get away from family. <laughs> yeah. No. Oh, there you go. Joe, well, Joe was it? Ha, do you now, or was it ever a thing? Like, oh yeah. Family, well, I'm originally like, from Texas. I have I have a small amount of family that are legit Cowboys fan, but I also have fa- uh, family that are okay. Redskins fans. Okay. Fucking How Redskins. Fuck Okay. And uh, hey, I don't know. It's hey, like, no, that. it's the fucking Redskins. You get to say God damn it. Okay, I'm, but, I'm, hold but, on. So I'm less I grew worried. up always, like, we at least have that game on. Always. Yeah. You know, so even when there's not even, like, a room full of people really watching it, it's like something that's always on. Yeah. I'm, I'm less worried about being canceled for him calling them the Redskins and more worried about the fact that we set uh, a Cowboys and, and Eagles fan next to each other. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, I did not know that. <laughs> no, I'm not. Uh, He's a, you're I'm, not a Cowboys I'm anti-Cowboys. I was, I was yeah. Cowboys. And it's oh, funny. Fan. It's funny. I have yeah, a couple of family. It's random as fuck, dude. Yeah. Yeah. My South oh, Texas family, you, we're not huge Cowboys people for the most part. You know what's funny? There's a few family members that are hardcore Eagles fans from really San Antonio. Funny? What about okay. Titans fans? All of my family are, t- are, are from Texas and are Cowboys fans. No shit. Yeah. I'm the only Eagles fan. <laughs> I have a few, man, but it's like... Like and now I got more family members that are probably like Texans fans, like, but uh, but like yeah, it's weird. I have some diehard <laughs> Philly fans and some diehard Steelers fans in my family. <laughs> you don't have any like diehard uh, Titans fans when they moved? Like, there you uh, go. Like, a little bit because, the, well, because they were in Houston for so long. But yeah. then that's why at this point, like the Texans have kind of won yeah. it back. Yeah. I I don't think I don't think if the Rams I don't think back, I, I I don't know if a what fucking NFL team would survive here again. Um. It has yeah, to be here's the thing: football ownership. is always on on Thanksgiving. Yeah. yeah, but it is never the teams that my family gives a shit about. So, like, we will, wa- I will watch football. It's just on. I, yeah, because I don't want to. I'm not watching any fucking parades. Yeah. Oh, oh, you loser! 
Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I love to eat mushrooms and like drink coffee and watch the parade. See, there you go. I hate, now I, we're talking. I, I, who is, is it? Daniel Tosh has the joke the about <laughs> parades should be at, at double speed. Like they should go around twice. And on the yeah, yeah. yeah. Speed. Um, Hello, you, Nate. <laughs> Uh, you know, there's a little team y'all probably are familiar with called the New England Patriots. This uh, fucking uh, guy. Uh, yeah, so you're uh, about to get your ass kicked <laughs> in the basement yeah. right now. A little now. fucking Tom over there. So, Tom uh, Brady. You know, Tom uh, fucking Brady. You know, I'm from New England. Was, and, was that uh, an English accent? What the fuck that. was that? So, uh, I don't know. Yeah, we were, my family was really into watching football when they were winning. Which, <laughs> yeah. it, but you know, like as soon as they didn't win, no one had a hat, no one had a jersey. But the second yeah. they won, everyone's a huge super fucking fan. Yeah. So uh, Thanksgiving, there was usually some game on. I didn't. Wa- I I'm never a huge football fan. I was more into hockey at the time. But we would watch it, and there'd be like a shitload of snacks. Are they, so we would were they raid that snack fan? table, huh? So you think they're more of a Tom fan? I think they're a fan of winning, honestly. Yeah. Like, none of them, are, none of them can name the... football fans. They don't know what the hell's happening. They're none of them like can name the quarterback the before, before Tom Brady. Brady. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Can right. you name the quarterback or before Tom Brady? Else? Well, now, now we've established that I Nate doesn't like his football. Drew Bledsoe, Drew Bledsoe, number 11. Oh, Drew Bledsoe, number 11. Had a I was almost sitting there thinking, I was like, wait, who are... Who Bledsoe, yeah. Drew Bledsoe. Yeah. Growing up, yeah. I was okay. a big football yeah, fan, Bledsoe. and I remember incidentally actually watching the game when that shit happened too. Okay. I am. I I will say this as far as football. We no idea. It, as a family, we're more of a college. Like we can't. I, granted, we I work on fucking every Saturday, but. Yeah. College football yeah. is more where I care. Yeah. Like I watch all the it's NFL, the best to bet on. but you know, college football is more fun. Well, let me ask you guys this: uh, since since I've brought up Thanksgiving now, and that's ultimately what we're doing here, um, what Ooh. what are your favorite you. Thanksgiving traditions? Like, do you have anything that, like, Greg? What do you got? Uh, I mean, it's just the food. Just the, the dinner food. is really the only, and just get family being together and family. So. <laughs> we're, back on, we're back family. on. We're back on. Wholesome. We're back on. I'm making it wholesome. Fast and furious. <laughs> family. 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 <laughs> family. It is kind of the only real point. Yeah, I was gonna say family traditions. We have to have uh, green bean casserole, and there better be some fucking cranberry jelly for me to have. Okay. So it's just the, the food. See, it's food. So you're well, the food. food. Does anybody well, celebrate the pilgrims the on some Thanksgiving? No, of course not. <laughs> because I like to so eat. So right as Americans not to have to. Because yeah. I like to eat and then go watch the football games. So, so I can it's, so it's food, and, food and football. Food and football. And beer. It's That's the, exactly why we're here right now. Whoa. <laughs> hey. It's, whoa. The, it's, it's, the, it's the FFB. Come on. FFB. This, this is like when they say the title of a movie in the movie. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> Peter Griffin. I like well, food. Like, I like football. Yeah. I like fucking. And I like sitting on I like the food, <laughs> football, and God. What about, okay, Joe? Um, any, any specific traditions? At this point as adults, like me and all my siblings, we all like make a different side. So everybody brings something different. My mom is like, our biggest thing with my mom is just my mom makes really good pie completely from scratch. So anytime that there's fucking store-bought pies, like that's what throws Thanksgiving off. As long as as we're at mom's house and she makes like five, six homemade pies, like then then it's Thanksgiving and we're good. One year, like um, I forgot what it was, uh, but we ended up getting a ham instead of a turkey. I didn't give a fuck as long as we have the pies. Like, yeah. That's the big <laughs> sides in the pies. You know what's sure. really strange is most people that I've talked to don't really care about turkey. It's because they're not having the right turkey. I like it. Uh, well, I always deep fry it, so I like, like or smoke fried, it. Oh Those God. are the two yeah. ways I that, like it a lot. So a fried tur- tur- fry tur- yeah, tur- turkey is really good, too. Mm. So I accidentally sent my smoked turkey recipe to our entire staff at work. Uh, Legit, uh, so lucky them. Boo. Yeah, Legit, well, I, to the entire sales force. Did you actually? And not only that, the wrong sales force. So like three people that no longer work there <laughs> were okay. on that group chat that I sent it to. I was trying to send it to one person, and I accidentally sent it to, to the group. Wow. Um, yeah, yeah. No, but it, if you if you have like a, it's like Brooklyn Nine Nine. He just sent it. Everybody <laughs> telling everybody someone's kill pregnant. Him. Yeah. <laughs> if, but if you a smoked turkey is the fucking and that's the thing is like I agree with you until I until. I started making the yeah. turkey for my family and Smoke everybody gave good, a shit right? about the turkey. We all got white ass tradition. Here. Is good, but Not really. Uh, I like, what are y'all I, white I ass really, tradition? I don't care for white meat. It's, 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 it's the, the dark meat. Dark meat. Yeah. So what are you, the so, dark so meat so good. Wise, <laughs> so tradition wise, my favorite tradition was always football and food. Me disappearing 
<laughs> the okay. night before and not reappearing on Skanksgiving. Yeah. Oh, yeah. absolutely. So Skanks, Skanksgiving. So, no, no, no. Hold on. No, specifically. So my mother, we used to have 50, 60 people in our house okay. until COVID. Shit. So it was a fucking right. whole we did thing. That at, yes. We did that at mine too. It was oh. a whole fucking yeah, thing. And I, my mother became a neurotic goddamn mess. So yeah. yes, part of it was Skanksgiving. Yeah. But like, I would go out Skanksgiving. I would stay what at a friend's house. What the fuck is Skanksgiving? Yeah. Night before. The night before Thanksgiving. <laughs> yeah, I would go out. It's like the biggest drunk party. Wednesday. Isn't that yeah. more of a Midwest yeah, or a Missouri St. Louis church. thing? I know that's not drunk like an everywhere church. thing. It's called yeah. 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 yeah, I don't think it's an everywhere thing. You got to be I'm very aware. I celebrate Friday. Is that like you work in the corner on Thanksgiving? All right. But it's a St. Louis thing. But it was the... So we would get a hotel or I would stay at somebody's house. And then my my phone would inevitably fucking die. Yeah. I mean, and then I would the just intentionally not charge it and not show up until like <laughs> noon. Okay. And I'd get home and my I, I, I'm doing this in my my mid twenties. I'm coming home and my parents are like, "Where the fuck have you been? We've been fucking calling you." you uh, this is why I was disappeared. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't want to deal with this. Shit. I did that. I did that eight years straight. It was my favorite fucking <laughs> tradition. Well, my mean? personal one is whether the family and everybody is partying or not. I don't give a fuck who's there. I'm drunk. Yeah, I know this. Yeah, like, true. there has been more than one time where like people the... are drinking, but I'm the only one that's like fucked up, <laughs> walking around stirring shit up. Yeah, yeah. There's been yeah. times where I've been drunk on or Wednesday high. when oh, got course. drunk and then rolled into my family's like, just fucking feed me. <laughs> hey, hey, do you have a do you have a favorite tradition in New England? Like my brother and I and our friends and stuff, we just roll some huge ass J's. Yeah, dude, it's nice. What? And uh, we get sounds awesome. Super baked, and then it would be turkey, and it would be stuffing, and you know, just like lit up. And so that became the tradition: is we'd like you know get a little something first do that and my my parents are pretty cool with the whole thing like they're yeah. like oh you scamps you know like yeah. <laughs> it ain't legal but fucking do it they didn't give a shit and so oh, New yeah, England. get super big and you sit down at the table and you just see the spread of food and it was like yeah so I, feel like I, okay, on, what, I feel like i asked okay. you this last year and, where in uh, where in new england are you from i'm from rhode island okay uh, southern rhode island so oh like, god right don't get him started on the, the quahogs and all yeah. that tradition and the bubblers that tradition and started when i was like 15, the jimmies 16. oh okay okay yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, 10 year old nate because you know i mean i started smoking i started smoking around 15 16. the reason yeah. i made the drew blood so joke is i grew up in boston so i was 10 years old 10 years old so i had my first football jersey was a drew blood so jersey fuck tom brady fuck bill belichick <laughs> hey, let's uh, let's do another beer. Beer, yeah, grab, uh, beer. Grab, uh, grab uh, There's a. Are we tasting? There's some yes, German like beer. There's some UCBCs in there. Okay. Thanksgiving I got beer. a perennial. Yeah, my new tradition um, is stuffing. My wife makes like amazing oh, homemade yeah, stuffing. Yeah, dude. And that is I heard stuffing oh, my wife. Homemade. Yeah. I heard was, stuffing. Was, I heard <laughs> stuffing my wife. There was not enough of a pause. amazing. There was not enough of a pause. What is what is. What is a good stuffing, not your wife, that <laughs> you enjoy? Stove top. Make it from home, and uh, you yeah, grab sourdough cool. bread, yeah, and buddy. you let that shit go in the oven, and then you, you make it all into, like, the, the breadcrumbs, essentially, from scratch. So you Take that, mix that with butter and herbs, you're, you're good. You yeah. said, when you said stuffing, the first thing that... Yeah. Came to are you willing to try like a sip are we still of it? Passing? Yeah, I'll give it a no, sip. We're not passing, so. Just grab one of those, and I'll pour so, it a little bit. When you said but stuffing, yeah. the first thing yeah. that came to my mind was uh, my... Came. <laughs> Yeah, my father, <laughs> my father-in-law so fucking came and fa- we, I just heard so, came so and when we father. Go, when we go to my father-in-law's house for Thanksgiving, Ooh, even spicier. Uh, my stepmother-in-law, she makes this is a porno setup. And what? It's fucking amazing. You yeah, ever had White Castle stuff? Try that. Yeah, it's stupid. Oh, I said that it's oyster good. stuffing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Were you at Bros Giving when Juan brought that shit? Yeah, that sounds amazing. Oyster stuffing. So it's fucking awesome. the best, dude. Yeah, it's the best. So good. I know. It sounds like weird, turkey. but... Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Should I drink this, Jess? No, no, no. no, no. Wait, 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 hold on. All right. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Is that what's the actual we're, voice? We're, I've never had yeah, this one fine. either. A dunkel? Yeah, this is my place. Well, dunkel is good, buddy. I'm a dunkel guy. Let me ask okay. you guys. Let me ask you guys. Since we're talking about Thanksgiving traditions, and, and so who, who's talking shit on the parade? Me. Hey, do, you guys, do you guys watch the parade, though? No, because I used to. Uh, no, because usually. Rob, okay, Rob's on a mic, but he just said, fuck that parade. <laughs> no, because usually Mike's I was walking out of the casino, blacked Who's out, drunk, at that walking time, past the families that were setting up <laughs> for the fucking parade, and then passing out in my hotel room. 
<laughs> for a couple of so, hours so until I, I could just reappear at home. Here's the thing. I, I typically will watch the parade. I'm not. It's a, it doesn't have to be a thing for me. What I do love though is after that Macy's Ooh. parade on Thanksgiving is they do the dog show. You know, I like the dog show. Okay, the dog yeah. show is legit. The dog yeah. show has become one of my favorite Thanksgiving traditions. But, but they I feel also that. have the isn't isn't it around Thanksgiving that they have the puppy bowl? Yeah. yeah. Well, no, so that's the Super Bowl. That's around Super Bowl. Bowl. Oh, oh that's yeah, right. you're right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought so, the puppy bowl. Did, Let's break that one down for a second. Real quick, real quick, Joe. They do something around Thanksgiving. Though, too. Joe, you want to introduce this next beer real quick? I think yeah. right. Hold on, wait, wait. I do want to say real quick, Dunkel? though. Um, like, I, I had a similar situation as you, Jim, that, like, <laughs> you know, over the years, like, you know, my, my family used to have, like, 50, 60 fucking people over there. And, like, one of my favorite traditions, honestly, was just having everybody there. But more so than that, all the guys would go to the garage with my dad and play poker and shit. That's so nice. That was uh, a fucking good nice. Yeah. We See, we what didn't have mind? any of those traditions. It was 50, 60 <laughs> we people. Cool and especially into my 20s yeah. and in my 30s, I got really sick and tired of having the same conversation 25 fucking times. Yeah. Hey, Jim, how's uh, how's life going? Oh, good. good. Selling cars. You know, what are you up to? Oh, you know, HVAC systems. Oh, Cool. Cool. Yeah. You guys <laughs> sucked. That's see you next time. See you in four that's weeks at right. Christmas Eve. Yeah. Yeah. This house and never even talk to the man. Well, that was, that's, <laughs> that's, see, that's <laughs> why. Yeah. No, that was the best part. Right. Is I always have like one we or two. We might say, yeah, score a touchdown. And then, that's the best oh. part. Is like, <laughs> like eventually, I, I, I had one or two look. uncles that I eventually yeah. would just sit in the, the living room and wouldn't fucking talk as well. But it was always at my parents' house, so I had to make the fucking rounds, and then I could fuck off to the kitchen oh you know we're, we're talking about traditions nothing makes me happier than uh, like because my grandpa would always cook everything he would make his own Local fucking beef. he would make a turkey for everybody else to eat and then he would have another Very fucking nice. turkey for himself nice. he'd have three or four pies for people to eat and he had three or f- fucking four pies for Dang. him fucking self <laughs> what for a the next ass. fucking right, day <laughs> he goes that's his, his a mighty his, his thing was, his thing was these more. motherfuckers oh, are coming over eating my food and there's not going to be anything left for yeah. me so this fucking <laughs> extra turkeys for me these extra fucking pies are for me yeah, dude. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what a badass bro Joe, like, I'm, eat I'm inspired a <laughs> Joe do you want to introduce this was he a fucking cowboy was he a ranch you want to introduce the beer Want to introduce this beer for us? The Bavarian Dunkel, yes. the dwarf beer. Ooh. Yeah, and actually, this is wow. nice because we don't have to look anything up. They uh, they give us a real good description on the they can. So yes, historically, Dunkels. First of all, Dunkels are a lager. You wouldn't think so by the color, but lager has to do with the ferment, yeah. not the color. Yep. So uh, Dunkel lagers the were the original everyday beer of Munich and the surrounding Bavarian villages. So dark amber color, dwarf beer or village beer. That's what that actually means. Uses huh? Munich malts and a slight amount of roasted malt, which I think you smell big time. So yeah, easy yeah, light uh, drinking because it's a lager, but full flavored, real malty. My first you guys, sip. You, you guys can go ahead. And he already yeah. sipped. I was like, he did. <laughs> All right, let's give this a uh, go. <laughs> she's a lovely. So just give you context, like, I actually love beer. Beer is fucking Ooh. banging. I just can't drink it, unfortunately. Oh, However, right. sips of this shit, mm, let's get in here. Oh, that's a beer, beer, dude. Is it a gluten thing? Gluten. It has to do with, yeah, that basically. Uh, it has to do with the way shit's brewed. Like, I can drink vodka, no problem, because of the way it's, like, okay. fermented. Yeah, yeah. But Prost. beer's got hops, and so, yeah. 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 We should, Every, we should everyone... get together and do an episode with gluten-free beer, because yeah. they're hard to find, they're pricey, yeah. and I always want somebody who who doesn't get to drink beer that much to actually try it and tell me what you think. Oh, that'd be sweet. You know, There's well, one out a, of uh, uh, Oklahoma well, hey, that I've been eyeballing. I, can, I, can I pause nice, real nice. quick? I'd like to join yeah. just to drink. Um, yeah, there you go. <laughs> I want to I wanna say... Fuck the rest of the crew for not telling us that somebody on the panel had a gluten intolerance. <laughs> well, then we would have picked up. We could have found at least man. a gluten free beer. I just found this you, out. Matt. I found this out when you found out. <laughs> this shit has to do with the purine. And I was gonna say anybody it has watching to do with the process more than the gluten. Anybody watching oh, just okay. witnessed a, a poisoning. So I, <laughs> yeah. Casey, I gave my beer to Rob, the, so I'm gonna need a sip off of that. Now you're put this is for you, audience. The disclaimer, you real quick. I wonder what we're this beer. I gotta so, the... I got a film question. Ooh, that's banging, actually. Because I I I go through this every single year. You fucking drink a Thanksgiving lot Thanksgiving movies. I took a solid. Do you have a favorite, or how many can you even really think of? Because it's a holiday that we don't get a lot of movies yeah. specifically about. Like, spe- not during fall, a Thanksgiving movie. 
I already okay. Let me say since Rob is not on Beethoven. mic, I already know his Thanksgiving movie tradition is sometime around he Thanksgiving he likes to watch Isn't it? The Nightmare Before Christmas. Around Thanksgiving. Around Thanksgiving. Right, Thanksgiving. Right, correct? Because no, it, I feel you, it, but it is a Christmas movie. It's in the middle. Well, it's Halloween, Christmas, it falls right there. Right. I think it's yeah. a good time. Okay. Hmm. I, I like that logic. But I mean a movie that is made specifically about Isn't Thanksgiving. There one? For Isn't there only one? Well, there's planes, trains, and automobiles. Yeah, dude, that's my favorite. There's Home for the Holidays, which sounds like oh, a Christmas yeah. movie, but it's actually you're Thanksgiving. Right. Does uh, you're right. Right. Does Beethoven that. not involve Thanksgiving? That's I a good point. Remember. I one, swear to God, the Chris. dog like gets the turkey at some point. <laughs> Somebody just shush. Hey, that was a hey, loud, loud, loud like, thing. Oh, stop Beethoven. talking about Beethoven. <laughs> 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 Beethoven. <laughs> We're like, shut up. Get like, back on the fucking dog movies. He's going to fucking cry. That's an interesting point, though. Because that sounds like, ooh, that is it not a Christmas movie? Anymore. And it's thinking okay. it might be. Is okay. It? So, I don't play Strange 100% ever. There's, and it's the best one. There's three movies, sometimes four, that I'll watch on or around Thanksgiving. Uh-huh. Plain Strange and Automobiles. Home for the Holidays. Tower Heist. What? With, with Ben Stiller. Matthew Broderick. Yeah, Matthew Broderick yeah. is in it. Ben Stiller oh, and Project Eddie Murphy. X. Yeah, are the uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, full circle. I know. I was just gonna say, like, this is yeah. Matthew Broderick. Uh, and then I will sometimes watch um, Paul Blart Mall Cop because it's a. It takes place on Black Friday. Oh, okay. I'm yeah. adding that to the list this okay. year. Yeah, so yes. good I job. I like that movie there. anyway. So if you're if you're getting on that, I like to watch the Black Friday Brumberoo episode of South Park. Okay. No. Uh, yeah. did good one. Hear that? Very good one. Did, yeah. What did he say? Don't well, worry about he's it. not on mic, so I want to make sure. <laughs> Rob said. Rob sure it don't matter. <laughs> Rob said the Black Friday Bundaroo episode of South Park. No, that's a good, that's a good point. Yeah, episodes not I just actually, movies. You want to know? You want to know something? I have a Thanksgiving tradition. Of every Thanksgiving, at night or right before I go to sleep, I will watch the Christmas special of It's Always Sunny. Okay. And, and that kicks Fuck off yeah. my Christmas season. Yeah, dude. Okay. I like yeah. that. I we used to, series. when we had the 50, 60 people we would watch, we would put the Grinch, the Jim Carrey Grinch on okay. yeah. for the kids. It, like after one. dinner, yep. you put on the Grinch for the kids. Kicks and then off your Christmas season, that, right? Like one of the few traditions we kind of would do is then a bunch of the guys would go downstairs half-cocked and play pool and bet on it. But and like, not so put a, And guessing, not put a Thanksgiving movie on? I mean, I'm nah. guessing nobody <laughs> in here is... I'm, I have my Christmas tree up before Thanksgiving is over. Yes. We have oh, it up so now. We, we, we might. We might. Thanksgiving we doesn't so start for me. Or uh, Christmas doesn't early. start until after yeah, Thanksgiving. For my me. wife. My wife likes to do it. it. I get so mad when people decorate Christmas. Be- oh, get the fucking turkey. It's day. Well, yeah, first of all, <laughs> my wife likes to do it around her birthday. I gotta have the harvest first. Yeah. You know. My my wife likes to do it around her birthday, which is November twelfth. They all like and on to top do of that, we're usually if you're usually lucky. we're out of town like the week before Thanksgiving. So she wants to get it up before Thanksgiving. Who doesn't what want I to mean, get it up? We're always <laughs> trying to get it up. <laughs> Man, hey, you gotta love a woman who wants to get it up right before <laughs> Thanksgiving. You're hitting, hey. you're hitting some sensitive hey. territory right now. My wife had a kid eight weeks ago. I still haven't had sex yet. Right. <laughs> well, hopefully, sensitive. hopefully you get it up I, by hey, Thanksgiving. I know your pain. Oh, Joe, Joe, you. We'll appreciate this. I know I think, your pain. Of I think says, Matt's the uh, only one that heard this one, so I'll yeah, do, I'll divulge a little little family thing that happened the other day. It was pretty fucking funny. It wasn't sex. Ha. Ha. So <laughs> my Sarah, wife, this is his idea. I didn't ask. So my wife and I are going to Florida in a couple of weeks, and we're staying at my parents' house. Mm-hmm. Oh, cool. And my mom, I asked my mother, I said, hey, could you do us a favor one night? Could you take the baby and get up with him and feed him Ooh. so that Sarah and I can just get a good night of sleep? Oh, fuck yeah. And my mom says, absolutely. I was already planning on doing that. In fact, I was going to do it a couple of nights. I said, well, you don't have to do a couple of nights, but we appreciate it. And she goes, yeah, right. you guys need good sleep. And honestly, so you guys can have some sex. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. 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 What? Big yeah. man, Ma. I go, what? Yeah. what? I go, what? She goes, quietly, it is in our house, but have some <laughs> sex. I said, God. Did you give her a big ass fucking high five? Like, no, I said, mother. I said, hey, mom. Did she we... say the phrase "have Shout some out to sex"? You, mom, yes. Because yeah. the dads kick sex. ass in this, this have some department. Sex. But it's rare that a mom tries to make sure her son gets yeah, laid. No yeah. Yeah. Shout yeah. out to you, mama Masarella. It was very. <laughs> it was very. It was very stilted. It was very awkward. She's like, have some 
Sex. <laughs> <laughs> There's almost no S. X. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, let's, uh, uh, should be like the kid's sags. <laughs> let's let's re- let's actually review that beer. I mean, uh, what do you think I would I love to go down the line for you guys. <laughs> All right, or actually, the, Nate, let's start with you. We'll start that way and come back. Oh, this is pretty good. This get that German toastiness on it that I enjoy. It's also really like amber looking. I can drink a bit of this. What percentage is this beer? Six. Six, I think. Okay, yeah. I get a positive. Five, I usually no, don't drink beer under six ish. Oh, okay. So. Where, as, as a non-beer drinker, yeah, where do you rank that? Is it oh, an N? Okay. I'm going to give this, uh, <laughs> whatever the middle middle high, whatever middle that high. is. Middle high. Okay. It's good okay. It's good okay. Yeah. It's like, yeah, I would drink more of this. Yeah. Good. Okay. If it wouldn't kill yeah. 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 yeah, I've had this a lot. This is one this is one of my favorite UCB C B Just just for the just for the sake of this show. Let's, this for me let's is hear it, your rating. This for me is always gonna be a fuck yeah. I okay. like a good Dunkel. U C B C they specialize in German style More traditional, traditional yeah. beers. And I love traditional German mm. beers done traditional style. Especially yes. the Bavarian hops, Especially the man. Bavarian hops. Yeah, I will say all. Zwickel, though, is one of my favorites. Um, UCBC only That's has like three or That's four me. that I really, really love. But this is probably one of the top two because I like a Dunkel a lot. You get a lager, so it's easy drinking. It's light on the belly. But you get all those big, bold flavors. There's so much malt yeah. on it. Yeah, it tastes like it shouldn't sit light on your stomach, yeah. but it right. does. But it's easy, you know? crisp drinking because it's, it's a lager, man. What about so? Where are you at on that? What's, what's your um, it's on it's that? it's an entry fuck yeah, because I'm excited every time I get one. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, Casey, you're you Shane are Lewis an too. urban chestnut guy. So I'm gonna give it a fuck yeah. When I drank it, it 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 made me think I love Amber Bach. I love right. that yeah. fucking Amber Bach. And Bach are just really good beers. It's so much, it's better. It's better than fucking. It's Amber the Bach. malt. It's the, it's got yeah it's it's got to be the malt yeah something is in it that I'm just like because they're using fuck, dry and roasted and then malts. When he took it, he's like I want to try it. I'm like fuck you. Yeah, <laughs> get your <laughs> own. I gave I gave mine to Rob. <laughs> get your own. Get your fucking own, man. What about you, Greg? It's so good. Oh, um, sorry, Casey. Oh, no. well, you're good. You're done now. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Greg? Where are you? At? I give it. I give it a strong okay. I wouldn't. Strong okay. I like honestly the garage beer. Yeah, that's a little more. Yeah, but I'm not a big beer drinker again. Yeah. So, yeah. but yeah. I mean, I gotta give props to a local brewer. Yeah. So the malt yeah. is but, real big, but, and it is a little. The maltiness. Too. I mean, I, li- I like a lighter malt's flavor, like, but really I mean, it's good. I would drink. Yeah. I would definitely drink it if someone handed me one. So, and this is part good, of why. This is part of why we love beer too. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, definitely. Part of why we love introducing people to beers because, like, yeah. if you're not a beer drinker. Yeah. A lot of people are going to look at this can and assume they probably would fucking hate it. Or the color alone might right. make yeah. you think that it's right. a lot heavier than it is. Right. You know? And just like you said, like it looks a lot heavier, like it would sit heavier in your stomach than it actually does. Yeah. That's, I mean, that was kind friends. of a turnoff at first, but once you drink yeah, it, right, it's, right. it's like, okay. Rob, can you inlay the, uh, the more you know? <laughs> yeah. 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 I, I see Jim looking at me. He wants to know what I think of this beer. I, do. I, I give it just a straight down the middle okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I kind of expected that from from Matt. I know it, you're, <laughs> which no, is no, like you take, on a scale no, of one to ten point. for me. You've the okay is always palate. the five six range. Yeah. You've gotten to know my palate at yeah. this point. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And, and having brought you into the Obot crew mm-hmm. and get you know having you drink more and more beers, yeah. you know it's kind of kind of where a, I thought you would land. It's, on a, it's a line drive. It's right down the middle. Yeah, Ooh. for me. Yeah, I know you're not a big malt guy. Yeah. It is Let's, pretty malty. Uh, let, let me ask you: did, did you guys bring? Are there other beers that you want to do? I mean, we can't. I just brought some because it was like, let's just all bring some fucking beer. Yeah, so I have a couple, I think let's but I only brought more. pints. So whatever we're tasting, we're just going uh, to like have four to split up what I have. Left. Okay. Well, so we can all do that one. Yeah, grab grab them four so, Mexican. Yeah, so I here's, a, here's I my plan. Couple pints, here's but. my plan. Uh, let's do one more beer while we're distributing. I'll have a question for you guys. We'll kind of go over some stuff. We'll review this last beer. Uh, I have one more question. We'll kind of wrap up. So we're kind of getting to that point. So yeah. All right. Did you have a Thanksgiving movie you could think of? I, I ask people this I, every year because really there's just could. it's a small list mm. or one that you like. It is. Planes, trains is always my favorite. One hundred percent. I really, I really don't. Son-in-law. Son-in-law is a Thanksgiving movie. She takes him home for Thanksgiving. Is that a Paulie Shore movie? It's around Thanksgiving dinner. That would probably be my movie then. Hey, who who had money on us bringing up Paulie Shore twice in this? (laughs) (laughs) That's what. That's why I wanted to make sure. As soon as you said in the army, now I was like, I know what I'm bringing up. 
<laughs> and Adam's Family Values, I'm pretty sure, is a Thanksgiving. Jeez. Oh. oh, there we go. That's right. my shit, dude. All right. right. I, hold on. I, I got to interrupt this real quick because I'm playing Matt in fantasy football. <laughs> a third fucking player on my team has gone out. Yeah, it was looking grim for me this morning until it? I made some Keon. Moves. Keon yeah. Coleman? Yeah. Oh, thank God. I need I need fuck you. Jordan Allen. To it's like, oh, fuck you, buddy. Good. You got, Keon, not, not Keon, not He's Keon. got it open. Just say, I mean, sitting there. Just saying, he's he's okay, like he's watching had, it. He had Keon Coleman, who I'm playing against, and I've got... I got Josh Allen. I'm like, fucking stop throwing him. The I've told you, off. we talked about it before. I've never partake, partaken in a fantasy leagues because I think I'll go fucking crazy over it. But we've always said like we should do it. Yeah, we should make it part of the show one year. Like, yeah. we should do. Oh, yeah. that'd be fun. Let's do our own little league. Let me ask before we get into this beer, and let's just kind of do it a, like a quick. Everybody's kind of already mentioned this, like when I was talking about traditions. But one of my questions was going to be, uh, what is your favorite Thanksgiving food? So I, the pie, right? Like, pie. I, I'd have to go pumpkin pie or maybe those sweet potatoes, right? That's me. What about you? Uh, I just I like the sides, to be honest. He, Greg likes it all. Remember when, said, remember when I said? Remember when I said he's very yeah, easy I'll, to okay. Now see, now see, now see, we the family yeah, we've been one. making. You know, what your green bean casserole. I can't. I can't. Uh, <laughs> yeah, what kind of potato dish do you guys do? Because I've been we, like, we do like so a hash brown different. casserole. Yeah. And then we'll like do the the, the yams, yeah. sweet yeah. potatoes, you know. Yeah, yeah. Because I've been to I, I actually houses prefer where it's mashed potatoes, scalloped potatoes, the hash brown casserole. Hash brown I've had so casserole, many different man. ones. Okay, that that right. probably kills it for me. Is that the one? The yeah. Hash brown. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's that's the one. Okay, the potatoes. Yeah. 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 Especially I'm, when it's like a grandma recipe or some yeah. shit. Oh, yeah. dude, so good. I'm gonna say pumpkin pie. You gotta. So we'll just we'll narrow it down to one. So I'll say the pumpkin pie. You got the potatoes. I'm going to say green bean casserole. Green bean casserole. Joe, what you got? Yeah, the sides are so signature. But for me, if I don't have pecan pie, it's it's not fucking That's Thanksgiving. It. Another it's pie guy. Not. What about you? If I have... Gravy? If I... <laughs> <laughs> you take the white <laughs> and the brown and mix it together. <laughs> Just drink it out of the a whole boat. sports bottle. <laughs> Stone Cold Steve Austin. <laughs> two gravy bags. Fucking banana boat. <laughs> 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 can we just can we just have a whole podcast of you and I just roasting each other? <laughs> you know, that would be pretty fun. <laughs> can we Isn't make a just video of you downing some <laughs> yeah. gravy, Steve Austin style, uh, and use it for promo? <laughs> I mean, I once I once drank a whole bottle of uh, fucking maple syrup, Super Trooper, style, <laughs> and then I drank a live goldfish. <laughs> Jesus! To, All right, to, to Brooklyn, down. Down on Remember bitch. you and Alex just fucking swigging the maple syrup and hot shots? Yes. Oh, so, so, so our <laughs> fucking maple syrup for. What, did we, what was the fucking shot? Alex oh. brought out whatever maple syrup because they had Labatt's and he was trying to get them to make some Canadian yeah, it was like shot Labatt's. he found online. Whatever. They wouldn't do it, so they just had a thing of maple syrup. I show up and these fuckers are just passing it back and forth, just swigging Jesus. out the bottle. <laughs> well, maple, By the way, Alex isn't fat either. That's kind of what's funny about that part. Maple, yeah. maple syrup and goldfish aside, what's your favorite? <laughs> <laughs> if it if I'm making the turkey, if I'm doing my smoked turkey, it's my turkey. It's the turkey. Ooh. If the turkey's not, a star for you. Okay. If if it's not my smoked turkey, uh-huh. which is not my recipe, a friend gave it to me by the way, so I don't okay. take full credit. If it's not my smoked turkey, though, it's stuffing. How often do you stuffing. make the turkey? I've made it nothing. three years. Three years? Yeah. yeah. So that's like a new thing? Yeah. That's like the new tradition? It, mom had I cancer. Believe. COVID happened. I told her I was going to fucking take I over. We're no longer yeah. doing 50, 60 people. Mm-hmm. We're doing small Thanksgiving. Yeah. So I took over to Turkey, too. Yeah. yeah. My, Fuck yeah, my mom has cancer, too. Would you say one of your favorite Thanksgiving memories is your mom not having cancer? <laughs> 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 I mean, honestly, uh, she's clear of cancer. How about your mom? Yeah, she, it's in remission. Hey. <laughs> Cheers hey. to remission. Hey. Cheers to remission. Hey. Cheers to, hey. Here's to having <laughs> both our parents. I mean. Hey. Oh. Oh. My dad's dead. <laughs> Nate's, Everybody's hey, still got mom. Lost, hey, it's this okay. did turn I into a Gam Kill Gam Tony Gam episode. <laughs> it's, it's okay. I lost Gam Gam the other Can day. Can I try my drink yet? <laughs> yeah. Does Nate, everybody still have mom? No, we're cheers again. Hold on. Nate hasn't told hold us his favorite Nate, Thanksgiving hold on. food. Nate's still on the He's sideline. Getting, <laughs> What's your favorite Thanksgiving food? Hurry up. Oh, he needs a beer. Be, yeah, right? It's going to be stuffing. Stuffing is... He's going stuffing. Stuffing is a solid Rob says his hand said stuffing as well. oyster stuffing from scratch. It's like... Anybody who hasn't tried it, they don't fucking know, man. What's the oyster? It seems weird, but you want to introduce that beer. You are a small. It's real small. No, I don't like having a whole... So what we have... I would kill it, man. I love it. I demand silence on the floor. 
<laughs> you need a gavel. <laughs> I, uh, so what was this? Madre's Mexican Lager? Yeah. So, okay. From Mother's Brewing. Mother, mother, Mother's mother. in the Springfield area, I believe. I believe. Hey. Am I right? Yeah, you're, you're correct. Oh, you need well made. Yeah. Well made in Springfield. This past year, I've really tried to put so in more. effort into yeah, learning more Thank of our sure. breweries, their regions, yeah. where they're from, and get yeah. more specific with like it. I know Especially Lago the people that we haven't met any owners yet. Because then it's like, okay, well, if we've met them, it's easier to remember. If I haven't met you yet, it's like, I want to make sure I know what I'm With talking about. Is that what it says? And I want to know, you know, my market. So yeah. I'll Enjoy start off on this beer. This is a Mexican, Mexican lager. And I think, Joe, I think we have actually had we this one it. before. Maybe. And I think oh, my okay. thought was the same thing as last time. Or maybe it was a different Mexican lager that we tried out of a can. It's good, it's malty, it's light. It's a little My malt, only yeah. problem with it I really love the malt. is that most Mexican lagers are in a clear bottle for a reason. Yeah. Light alters the flavor of a beer. Right. And part of what it does is it skunks it a little bit. You try Modelo, you try Corona, a lot yeah. of a lot of Mexican beers are in a clear bottle for a specific That's reason. That's why the Dos Equis is even like yeah, the two the different green, lagers. The green. Yeah. The green bottle, it's yeah. not a dark one. It's right. still so light comes through. So light through. comes <laughs> through. And that's why the Negro is in a, in a dark bottle. Well, what about that one? So that there's no light really penetrating. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So these Mexican lagers, when they come in a can, it... There's a flavor profile There's a flavor missing. profile that you're missing because it doesn't get skunked at all. I am going to say, oh, uh, I'm going to jump right into my rating. I, I, it's, it's an okay. Hey, it's good yeah. to stew. It's, it's an okay it's rating. <laughs> yeah. Now, now uh, in a frosty glass with a with a slice of lime, uh, okay. you know what I mean? It might, might push it up a little bit for me. Yeah. But go. just taking this drink straight out of the can. Rob, do you want some of this? No, I'm good. Okay. I'm still working on the hoopty and the... Yeah, I didn't ask you about that. <laughs> <laughs> what, yeah. uh, what percentage? We don't care this? about your other shit. Yeah, go ahead and stay over there. Stay off, Mike. It should be light. It should be around five. <laughs> yeah, it's probably. It around, should be light. Probably around five. What are you thinking, Greg? You what are you? Have a where are you at, Four percent. Four percent. Four percent. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm okay. Hey, well, it's really good yeah. flavor for that Here's light. It's here. really good you flavor for that. That low. I want to know what he wants. What he thinks about it. Yeah. Um, Did we get it, you, guys, you guys might have missed it. Yeah, Greg said he's just an okay. Though. That's, I'm, I'm that's, okay. Okay. that's a fair assessment. Now, now, it's now, let me, it's not now, bad let me at all. ask you this. As a guy that doesn't really care for uh, beer much, what are your thoughts on something like a Corona or a Modelo or a Dos Equis? Um, I've never had Dos Equis or Modelo. Oh, the only man. thing I've had was a Corona. Uh, okay. Corona. Let's do a Mexican beer but, episode. Um, we're going to turn you on to. Bro. Some Pacifico, like, some Victoria. When we go down to Florida, yeah. Like Dad will usually get like a Mexican beer, like a um, Modelo or something. And like, you know, just that kind of beachy yeah. Kind of vibe. So like I, I used to always get like a six pack of Corona mm -hmm. when we were in Florida and you know, sitting on a beach drinking. Easy drinking. Yeah, yeah, they're just, lime wedge they're crisp. Right? They're light. Yeah. You but, do. Uh, and this does, this you know, even says on the rim, enjoy with a lime. Yeah. Right, so right. So I'm, I'm a little disappointed you guys didn't cut up some limes and bring them with you. Uh, yeah. Go yeah. fuck That's yourself. The thing with Corona is like, I don't know, I feel like you can even drink Corona without a lime. You can. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, you can. And I don't it, think it, it really, like, compliments as much as people act like it does. It's really just that mm -hmm. Mexican people in general, it kind of doesn't matter what beer Wait, puts citrus Do you citrus think you can speak for yeah. 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 I mean, do have you watched how Mexicans drink? <laughs> how many Mexican friends you got? It doesn't matter what <laughs> beer it is. A lot. Bro, like beer <laughs> salt some or some lemon, some <laughs> lime, some It goes on, out. like, <laughs> any beer. Oh, sorry. So yeah. I think that's kind of what makes it trendy, but like with Modelo, I think there's a bigger flavor difference when you drop the lime in versus yeah. like a Corona. Okay. It actually complements well, it more. So that's my thing with these brews is like, this is not a bad beer. There's nothing bad about this beer. No. Right. There's nothing about this beer that makes me want to throw lime in it and have tacos. So I don't know how much of an actual like I mean, Mexican lime and, really and that is where I have issue with mm. this beer is you don't get that vibe. You crack open a... Whether it's a Pacifico, a Corona, a Modelo, you crack open that beer and you do get the You want street vibe. tacos, man. You want street tacos. <laughs> you want, you want to, you want to sit on a beach. You want to have that, that summer vibe. This is like good Midwest malty. Yeah. It's, 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 it's a little, it's a little too malty. That's what I was kinda, just saying. I yeah. think it's the malt. Really, okay, it's just, like, it doesn't really hit exactly yes. what you want on a Mexican lager. But... Aside from categorizing it as a Mexican lager, it's not a bad beer. No, it's not yeah, a bad beer, right. but for being a Mexican beer, I think it's missing that skunkiness. That's, I'll give you that. You know. Casey, Casey, where do you rank it? I'm going to give it a solid okay. Okay. Just because... It's very drinkable. You're racist. It, it's, <laughs> I was waiting for it. 
Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. <laughs> no. Hey, hold on. Did you see <laughs> his did you see his mustache on I our know, last couple I episodes? Know. That's why. Okay. And he already told me he's like, I got family in Texas. That's why I said it. <laughs> what am I going to say to the the second whitest guy in the room? The, the man that you said to the darkest yeah, fucking guy in the room. <laughs> no, it's me and you. Uh, it's, it's me and you. <laughs> it's just me. It's us. We're not talking the whitest guys. The lighting makes We're not it talking about the fucking sunburns here. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about the fucking dark guys. Joe, Joe and Jim, based on everything you guys just said, I'm going to assume you guys are both at an okay on this as well. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, it's not a bad beer. Yeah. I, it's, no, I mean, I've been crushing it. Like I wanted to say, but, it's, it's a solid okay because... There are so many good Mexican beers. Yeah. 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 But for and, it being for a commercial beer, it's like a local. first time, a local, right. yeah. it's like, it's so, it, it's good, but it's not the best that I could go to the store for a Mexican beer. And get. Yeah. Mm. Nate, what do you mm. think? I mean, pretty good for local stuff. I'm enjoying this one. Um, it's 4% is a little weak for what I'd normally go for. I kind of like <laughs> yeah. beers with a little oomph to them, but uh, I would drink some. Yeah. Especially if I was eating, you mentioned Mexican food, I'd still eat this with... You know, tacos and stuff like that. I think it kind of pair anything with a taco. So oh, I'm gonna go you know, pink like taco, probably chocolate like milk, mid, mm. like right a five out of ten. It's it's pretty solid. Oh, yeah. Straight down right, the middle, straight down line, the middle. Drive. line drive, okay. line drive. Okay. Since we're since it's we're a line day. drive, okay. That's gonna be a that's gonna be a new phrase. Line, line drive, line drive. Line okay. Drive. Yeah. I could, it's uh, as centered down the line as it could be. Right, right. Since we're on Nate, let me start with I'm gonna I'm gonna have two questions for you guys. All right, it's the same question too. Two versions of the same uh, question, essentially. What, Nate, what are you thankful for? And since this is a Thanksgiving episode, that's what I want to end with. And and I want to start with saying, you know, since this is Culture Copia, we talk about pop culture and that kind of thing. So within the realm of pop culture, let's start with that. What are you thankful for? And I know that's an I interesting question. I am thankful for this show. I actually enjoy hanging out with you guys and drinking beers and shooting the shit about pop culture. Currently, that's my favorite thing because I don't follow Salute. a shitload of pop culture. But to come in here, you know, cheers, yeah, cheers, kick it, absolutely, gin, gin. have some fun. Roast. I'm going with that. <laughs> in general, what are you thankful for? General, yeah. man, I just like being alive. I'm a very thankful person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I wake up in the morning. That's like, the easiest person uh, to That's a solid it's answer. Solid, solid answer. It's wow. just, it's real. Solid as Jim. <laughs> Uh, Jim, same same question. In in the realm oh, real of quick, pop- let me just say <laughs> that that made shit. me feel like a horrible person because I make jokes at work all the time about killing myself. So. <laughs> in the in the realm of in the realm, you see how I'm not affected by that? Uh, yeah, because I work with you. You hear the jokes daily. In the realm of pop culture, what are you thankful for? Mm, pop culture. Michael Keaton. All right, you're not you're not wrong. I am always thankful for Michael Keaton. Okay. I'll give you um, a good answer. Good answer. I will say, in the vein, you know what? In the in the vein of Michael Keaton, I am thankful Show for me Michael Keaton, Harrison Ford. Oh. Okay, but I'm terrified because the day's coming soon. Oh, uh, don't say that. Dude. Maybe not. No. Stop it. It'll be there. It'll be yeah. There. In general, what are you thankful for? That's, that's in the general. Real question. I mean, if you want to get serious and sappy about it, I just had a son. He's eight weeks old. Absolutely. That's what the fuck that's I'm the thankful only for. Answer you could fucking <laughs> <laughs> I was already you thinking. You say that, you fucking scum. I, I had already <laughs> been thinking it'll be hilarious yeah. if you say anything about your son. You I'm, a, I'm also. Just said, he just I'm, goes, I'm thankful for this beer right here. And that's I'm, uh, right. I'm also thankful I'm for thankful my. I'm thankful for the fucking time I got to wear. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, also, I'm also thankful for my mother. Um. Wanting to make time for my wife and I to have sex. (laughs) There you go. There you go. I want to thank my wingman, my mother. (laughs) Since uh, since Rob piped up, I don't want to exclude him. He's not on mic, but I do want to ask you the same question. In pop culture, what are you thankful for, Rob? I know it's a hard question. It is in pop culture. He said Andy Dick. (laughs) <laughs> no, 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 he just Kevin said Spacey? and dick. Oh, and oh. Dick. oh, and dick. That's what I heard. I'm thankful for the... Uh, Harvey Weinstein? No, comic, <laughs> comic book to film adaptations. Comic, comic book to, to film, film adaptations. adaptations. That is oh, a yeah. solid, solid okay. pick. And in general, yeah, we haven't had the strongest for? year for him. You know, we haven't had the strongest couple of years. And just spending time with... Like, this episode has been so fucking this fun. Has been fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah so it, it has. Like, so, like, this right here... Doing like, doing something you you're love. You're gonna make me yeah. cry. Yeah. 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 So, Rob, I, I want to tell one more quick joke story. 
that you all okay. appreciate because I said the sex, the mom sex thing. Uh huh. My mother <laughs> also. Heard, my so my mother. You know what also, I heard? I heard. I want to. I heard mom sex. I heard I want to dominate the fucking microphone right now. No, no, go ahead. <laughs> you will no, because you'll all appreciate this, and it just popped into my head because I've been the the mom. Giving us time for sex has freaked me out until and everybody. Everybody's like, no, motherfucker, be grateful. Your mother is oh, yeah. tra- All right? Yeah. So I'm trying to get over that. But I will also tell you that my mother happens to know one of my sexual preferences. Yes, this is, this is true. Oh, you boy. have told me this. I yes. have told you this before, that my mother was out of town years ago, probably 10, 12, 15 years ago. Yeah. And she called me drunk, and or she'd been drinking. She goes, wow, what are you up to? I go, well, I'm getting ready for a date. Met a girl at opening day. And my mom... Goes, let me guess, huge tits. <laughs> and all of her friends in the background go, Jan, you can't say that to your son. And she pulls the phone away. You can tell she pulled the phone away from her face. She goes, what? I know what my son's into, and it's big boobs. <laughs> and she puts the phone back to her face. She goes, well, and I go, and triple D. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Of course. Of course. <laughs> Joe. Joe. Uh, you like? You like nothing about this. Uh, that's buddy, horrifying. Buddy, buddy, you know, you, you got to think about this. It's not hard to pick up on it when every girl I ever brought home yeah. had huge cannons. Yeah. It's not like my yeah, mother. Now that your mother's out there, it's it's really probably hard to get hard on for it. It's, it's not. It's not like <laughs> hey, my. It's not like my mom cans? knows. It's not like my mother knows that I like to get burned with a cigarette and told that I'm a piece of shit yeah. while well, a ball right. gag is in my mouth. That'd be a little weird. Well, if she knows, well, 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 she knows if now. She listens well, to this minute. podcast. Knows she now. definitely knows now. <laughs> wait a minute. Don't talk about my fantasies, <laughs> Joe. In the realm of pop culture, what are you thankful oh, for? Oh, Keaton is absolutely an answer. Was your answer. I was fucking spasmatic last year to see the Flashpoint and see great. Keaton as Batman on Truth. screen. I was the loudest person Truth. in the theater. It's stupid. Yeah. Can I ask and then you? I expected that Beetlejuice was going to make me pretty disappointed, and I really liked it. I finally watched it. I really it was liked great. It. The first one's, of course, classic and better. Yes. But yeah, it was it, great. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice well worth was it. amazing. I was glad that I went and saw it in the theater, too. Yeah. And he's still going strong. Fuck can, I, yeah. can I ask you, have you seen Birdman? Yeah, oh, dude, um, so excellent good. Excellent fucking movie. So Harvey. good. I'm Kinda a like fan. A very so artistic good. movie. The only special mention I want to give off of that, though, I'm very thankful for Kill Tony because I'm a big cam- comedy fan and I've been watching for a while. Man, and okay. it's Kill blown Tony's the been fuck up, up in the last year. And yeah. it's great oh, to see. Yeah, it has. It's great to oh, see. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Uh, what, uh, in, in general, general, what are you uh, thanks for keeping on track? <laughs> my big thing every year with Thanksgiving is just everybody that gets to be together, like we should just be glad that we're here, especially anybody that's there that hasn't suffered a terrible loss recently because yeah. everybody's losing people every year. Every day Absolutely. there's people that are going, and if we can all be in the same area and, like, yeah. you got your parents, you got your kids, you know, you have the, the closest people around you are still there, it's always worth being thankful I, for, and I, we don't I pay attention real enough. I quick that Joe does epitomize or epitomizes that statement right there because yeah. he... Every year, host Bros Giving. Yeah, buddy. Okay. We're going on BG10 this year. I, so, I don't. In, in case, in case people can't hear that, since Rob's on a mic, uh, he said that Joe epitomizes that um, statement because he hosts um, Bros Giving. Every bros year, Giving so. ten years strong, buddy. Ten years yeah, of Bros Giving. So. So we, I need details on that. Oh yeah, it's yeah. Gonna be a third we'll get, we'll get we'll to the, we'll we'll get putting it together. Casey, uh, in the realm of pop culture, what are you thankful for? I'm assuming girl on girl. Two chicks at the same time. Yeah, man. No, two, two chicks, chicks at the same time. time. That's a uh, third me third That's a million dollar oh, yeah, nub, yeah. nub rubbing, rug bumping. No, what do you what do you think? Pop, third pop culture pop culture realm. Pop culture realm. Uh, I'm gonna just say, basically any. I don't know. Like lately, I've just been watching reruns of Cheers and just the nice. hey, you know nice. what? Do, I you know what? Do, 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 do. <laughs> hey, yeah, honestly, dude. to that because yeah, I was thinking legit, this morning. Yes. I was thinking this morning about um, since I knew we were going to talk about beer in pop culture, and I was like, dude, Cheers is honestly one of the best that it's, I can. It think. is honestly, like, and the fact that they've added to so many streaming and all of it from beginning to yeah, end, yeah. I can literally be like, fuck, dude, I can. Not talk to my family for a second and watch all these fucking episodes. So you're thankful for not talking to your family. Well, so in general, we've, we've, <laughs> so in general, I'm thankful for my family. <laughs> <laughs> thankful for Taylor Swift keeping the Kelsey brothers relevant. Oh, first off, Jason can do it, but do it before. Jason's is on, first off. Jason, 
What? Oh, that, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> okay. Jason <laughs> Kelsey, let's talk about that. That's the end. Jesus Christ. No, we could do. I think I hit him right in the butt. Casey could First fill an off, entire episode of talking about let's Jason talk Kelsey. Let's talk about Jason Kelsey for a second. No, it's not going to be a second. <laughs> let's, okay, I'll minimum it down to one minute. No, that's going to be a Patreon episode. Let's talk. Yeah. <laughs> Casey on <laughs> Kelsey. <laughs> Jason on Kelsey, bro. We'll get back to that. I'll get both. I'll take both the brothers. We'll do. <laughs> <laughs> Spit roast. I'll Kelsey. <laughs> Spit Kelsey roasted by Kelsey. Oh. Oh. We're as long as they win next Super Bowl. I want, I want two Super Bowls in my face. I, you know what I want? You know what I want? I want a new segment on our show called Casey on Kelsey. Where he just talks yeah. about the Kelsey brothers. Okay. We're going to do this. Shit, honestly, if, we, if, if this gets popular, hopefully the podcast says, hey, let's join the you do it at the yeah. end. I will really have a few. It's you really hard. Drunk rant and just edit it all together. Oh, it's really hard yeah. to make me uncomfortable, but I want two Super Bowls on the face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, uh, okay. And uh, leave Craig. your socks on. <laughs> two Perry <Craig>. Bears. <laughs> what? Within the realm of pop culture, what are you thankful for? Um, Ninja thankful. Turtles? Uh, Fuck yes. Always. But I, I'll have to say I'm thankful that ICP put on one hell of a kick-ass show. You did see ICP recently. Yes. Dude, they still ICP. got it. Did you, whoop, whoop. You, did you get um, you whoop, drenched whoop. in Fago? I got soaked in Fago. This, and dude, they killed it. went home sticky and I confused. Like As a always. Night, like a night at a ditty party. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's a Tuesday night for me. It's a very special it's roasted Bukaki. by two yeah. Kelsey's. And, <laughs> woke up the next morning, boner and everything. And, I'm, <laughs> and, and in general, what are you thankful for? Uh, in general, I'll tell you what. I thank God every single day for the people that are in my life. Family, you guys, friends, everybody. Fago. I'm Greg, always thankful Greg, for you. All right, can we shut the camera off? I gotta make out. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 my turn. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, we don't care about Matt. <laughs> hey, Matt. Yeah. Can what, I? Ask? What is? <laughs> go ahead. Jim. I was, hey, hey, Rob was gonna ask you, but I figured with the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> can I get another beer? What uh, <laughs> what, <laughs> what in what in pop culture are you thankful for? I, okay, I came up with this, question. and that's been a great episode. Thank <laughs> you. <Yeah. laughs> I, I I came up with this question this morning to ask you guys. That's why I texted you all to to prepare for it because it's an off the wall question. Uh, and the reason I came up with this is because I had this thought this morning, and I thought, you know, um, I knew I wanted to ask you guys what you're thankful for, but in pop culture in general, I thought, I do have something I'm thankful for. And it's the fact that More movie movie theaters have not died yet. Oh, oh they've, yeah, they've kind of made a comeback, yeah. dude. Yeah. Yeah. Post-COVID, yes. they really yes. have. Yeah. Hey, you and, know and, you know, I am a big, you know, everybody who knows me and anybody who listens or watches the show knows I am a huge fucking movie guy. Mm-hmm. And that mm-hmm. is one of my favorite things. Like, yeah, if dude. there's something I want to see and it's a good movie, I want to experience it in the theater. And you some movies are yeah. just crazy, so different crazy off the big screen, you yes. know? Yeah. Crazy Absolutely. enough that even drive through movie theaters are making a comeback. Absolutely yeah. right. Yeah, absolutely. And you know right. like, That's going to be awesome seeing it's, a lot more of those fights. That's the so, shit, yeah. dude. I was just yeah. talking about drive-ins the other day because I'm enough. like, one good of my answer. coolest film good moments good ever yeah. as Show a kid was seeing theaters. Jurassic Park at the drive-in. Yeah. I'm like, right. children don't get experiences like that. I'm like, no. so, so happy I got to have that. Yeah. Yeah. I, got so, see, I got to see Grease with at a drive-in. <laughs> so Matt, it was fucking amazing. So Matt, on that note, what in general... Are you um, thankful for Honestly, that? I mean, it, it's, it's going to seem very generic, but just, you know, like like Greg said, my, my, my family and friends and everyone in my life, and, you know, like, um, just keeping, I don't know, dude, like, any time, and we all go through hardships, and then just knowing that you have somebody there, you know, and it, it, whether right. it's you guys, whether it's, you know, my wife and kids, you know, my family, um, just, you know, having, having people in my life. Uh, not my dad anymore. <laughs> no, he's so with wow. you. He's so with you. Those, having those people in your life now since your dad has passed means so much more. Like, that's yeah. the way it was with me. Like, when I yeah. lost my mom, like, just right. mm-hmm. having those friends and family that are still there yeah. means so much more to me now than they did when Well, you we lost so much. Yeah. Yes. It's a so so, so since, since Rob's so not on mic and nobody could hear what he just said, um, he just farted. Uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that was all that was. <laughs> it was no, very I mean, rude. I, I haven't lost yeah. any of my parents, but being adopted, like, family always yeah. meant something different to Absolutely. me than most other people. And it's one of those yeah. things where people always told me, they're like, no, man, I understand what you're saying. I'm like, ah, kind of, but I don't think you fucking do. Because, mm-hmm. like... I have no blood. I don't know my blood. Yeah. I've I've had to choose 
who becomes family. So yeah, like see, when you lose people that makes it and you better, add yeah. people to absolutely it does. But also I want to note that none of the Slavin fucks in this room anybody said I'm thankful for my health. Because <laughs> we all look like shit, buddy. That's I call them Slavin fucks. Right. It's not like anybody is working on themselves. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I, you know, I have a question. Hey, I, buzz, thought about, baby. I thought about going for a walk yesterday. Yeah. Fuck. Well, it's the thought that counts. I, the hey, thought that counts. Hey, I walk my dog every day. I just take one or two beers with me sometimes. Right. That's all. Yeah, I walk my dog out the back door. Right. We go walking yes. around the park, and I'm that guy with the tall boy in my hand. I, I, I do want to say cheers. Hey, cheers. 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 Pros. Thank you guys so much, uh, Jim and Joe. Thank you for joining yeah, us man. on this. This was so much Super fun. fun. Super fun. Any um, given Sunday. Any given Sunday. Nate, welcome back. Um, yeah. Casey, welcome officially to the show since Nate's here. That's that's going to be our, our full fucking cast now. It's full panel? Me. Yeah. Me. Oh, we're keeping them? No, these guys? No, no, <laughs> no these not guys. them. Casey. We're Casey. No, 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 Casey's, Casey's staying. Casey's staying. Oh, no, no, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Joe, Joe, and Joe and I got a, <laughs> Joe and I got our own podcast. They yeah, these guys. Got so we got one. we got two other crossovers <laughs> we're doing. Hey, we're doing a Mexican like beer episode a and a gluten free episode. <laughs> yeah. And then I got a podcast with with him and him and yeah. We no, got, look, we're we're all we got a couple more hooked. episodes planned. Think about yeah. it. We got a big well, orgy podcast. I just get a call and say, "Hey, here. show up to Rob's. Yeah, yeah. And Mexican beer episode. That's true. Yeah, Casey. I mean, honestly, there there could be a weekend where Joe and I can sit in the corner and jerk off, wait for you guys to finish one episode. And then we'll film our episode. You know, we can do whatever. Well, Ooh, wait. You, know, you think I can good. do that and not, like, join? Like, that's fucked up. Yeah. Oh, no. Well, like, we'll do I'm it. just no going to watch. Like, no, we're <laughs> gonna, it is a gay fuck. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna do it in full view of you guys. Yeah. So you're just... Seeing it all the whole time, we're right. distracted. You, just like, you, essentially, so yeah, that new like, Pe- Beetlejuice movie like, had, had a big penis in it. Sure, <laughs> yeah. we're, we're gonna um, have the Kelsey brothers on one of the screens just to make it worse. <laughs> oh, please, dude. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't think, I don't think we've seen the last of these six guys together. <laughs> no. Um, thank you guys again so much. Thank you everyone yeah. for listening and watching. Please like, subscribe, check out One Beer at a Time. <laughs> um, they're great guys and a great fucking show. Um, and please, please, please tell your friends about it, and tell your friends about Culture Copia while you're at it. So. And go check out Rambo episode of Play for Blood. Yeah, Get yeah, it to twenty thousand. Play for Blood gun. series. <laughs> the, the Sylvester Stallone episode might be the the. That's yeah. Hey, that is that's a let great it go thing on. Ever done hey, hey nothing's life. finished. Hey, if I die tomorrow, <laughs> I was on one episode of a podcast. They got ten thousand views. <laughs> Let's just say awesome. it this way. Stallone that right is better than Arnold. I can't, you know what? He's winning that bet. He's winning that bet. All right, on that note, we're we'll on right back. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. We love you all. That's not Jerry. Tupac lives. Whoop, whoop. <laughs>